We didn't fall over. We might fall over <laughs> We've got a camera issue <laughs> where we can't find the mount for the camera, oh, no. and it's kind of um, the, the the camera's now teetering on the edge mm. of the dashboard. So let's see how we go. Don't move. Okay. Don't get too animated. Okay. If you end up looking at the dashboard, you know it went wrong. <laughs> we'll just keep talking. It's fine. Anyway. Forgotten what we're talking about now. Number like... nine. Oh, oh, oh. number. I'm not going to say no, it. We can set next week. Okay. Um, good. Number nine on the little mini blog that we're doing about the top ten reasons why our pupils fail tests. So this was released by the DVSA um, a few weeks ago now. Uh, nine ago. weeks ago now. <laughs> um, and uh, and we're on number nine. So let me read out number nine for you. Number nine is response to signs slash road markings. So that's what we're talking about. Okay. Um, quite a quick one this one I think it, it is a quick one because those of you that have been following the blog so far won't be surprised when I say roundabouts <laughs> <laughs> because it seems to come up a lot so we've asked our little little group of friendly examiners um, their take on what this really means and I guess the two things that have come up predominantly for them is that this is the classic road markings where you have a designated lane a roundabout to do one thing or another and they don't do it so for example um, turning right from the left hand lane in a roundabout when the arrows clearly suggest that they should be doing something other than what they choose to do yeah a little bit that i was interested in, we were talking about it before we did this bit so i'm learning from this as well which is mm. always good um is that if it's got road signs so not your roundabout sign with caution hillsy or whatever but the one that says what lane to get into mm -hmm. is normally the white one in the middle to the left then that would go under signs wouldn't it if yeah they were in so the, wrong the, lane. The, the priority in in terms of the higher the higher uh, proportion mm. of blame if you like is a sign will precede um road markings yes. and road markings will precede an inc incorrect position so take the roundabout one for example so if you have a roundabout that has a uh, a lane marking sign up and they get it wrong it would go under sign. signs yeah. if they if there wasn't signs but they had arrows it's road markings mm -hmm. and if there are no road markings and they get it wrong it's position so it's yeah. in that that order for, of importance and i think the bit i'd like to add is that it's not getting in the wrong lane it's continuing in that lane to the wrong place. Yeah, doing what you shouldn't do for yeah. the lane that you're... So using the left lane to turn right, rather than going, oh, bugger, I'm in the left lane, I'm going left or straight mm -hmm. on or whatever, wherever the left lane goes. So then that's quite an important point, is mm -hmm. it's not in getting in the wrong lane, it's using that wrong, continuing to use that wrong lane to go the wrong way. And, and I think you're this has been a, an underlying theory throughout the theme throughout the whole of the, the nine weeks so far, isn't it? Is that actually it's the result of what one does or doesn't yeah. do according to what one should have done or not done this is <laughs> the issue. <laughs> Absolutely. So that comes back, I'm sure we've said it on this room, I sort of, it's two months ago now, I've forgotten, but um, it then comes down to teaching things like doing wrong right, which is something we go on about quite a lot, but actually practising it. So practicing, if they get in the wrong lane, practicing going the wrong way, rather than just saying, if you get in the wrong lane, go the wrong way. We don't teach manoeuvres by just telling them, we go and practice it, don't we? So going and practicing it is important, I think, because then if they get in the wrong lane, they just go the wrong way, rather than just being told they used to just go in the wrong mm -hmm. way. And then that wouldn't be marked down anywhere, because it's not wrong. Yeah, it's not It's not a navigational test, yeah. even though I think it should be to a certain degree. It's it's what lane you're in and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think it's there as a failure, because I don't think that particular fault, you know, using the left lane to turn right or the right lane to turn left or whatever it happens to be, would normally end up as a fail and not as a, not as a driving fault, I think. Because if you do that, you're going to probably cut someone up or you change lanes in a roundabout. Normally that's a failure, isn't it? Well, the, the possibility of it being safety critical is pretty pretty uh, damn high. Uh, exactly. So based on that, absolutely. Yeah, it so goes down as a failure fail. rather than a yeah. driving fault or yeah. mine or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, absolutely. So um, that was, uh, that was the, 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 the first point. Um, I guess linked into that, I'm not sure whether it's necessarily them even knowing they've got themselves into the wrong lane and then making an incorrect decision to do or not yeah. do what they should have done it's not seeing it in the first place well, it's absolutely. not actually even recognizing the arrows on the road and that they've got themselves into that's why i think if you get in the wrong lane and you still go you know get in the wrong lane and you go the right way for that lane if that makes sense i still think it should be marked down because you you've not seen the signs or road markings in the first place 
Yeah, but it's but not sins of fault because no. you've sort of you've done you haven't cut anyone up and yeah. no one in, else outside the car would notice and that's one of the yeah. factors we're putting it down isn't it yeah. can people outside the car notice you've done this yeah. well, i'm quite glad you're not an examiner around me my neck of the woods based on well, that'd that. be tough we can't <laughs> <laughs> Watch this space. This might go wrong all the time, but you'd never know because they're doing what's right for them. Oh, we, we know that, Mark. We know you've had a pupil that didn't, well, I've had one as well, that didn't go right once, I don't think. Just <laughs> end up in a different county, still passed. <laughs> um, now, the uh, next thing that has come up from the examiners is, is the, the good old yellow box junction. Oh, yeah. That one mm -hmm. is going down um, for, for your number nine as well. And again, um, I would suggest that perhaps your yellow box junctions perhaps are even more obvious than arrows on roundabouts and the trouble with the roundabout is that you're so um, preoccupied with all that other stuff that's going on that you're likely to, to miss mm. that. Whereas maybe at a yellow box junction it is not necessarily knowing a rule, Yeah, I think not so. seeing the significance of the rule, um, maybe not I've seeing... I have ever had anyone. Do you think it's not seeing the situation in general in terms of if yeah. you're looking out for junctions, you shouldn't block whether there's a yellow yeah, box or not. <laughs> um, potentially just following the car in front. Yeah. And then particularly if it's a bigger vehicle, like a van or a bus, you can't then project forward yeah. and see the box junction coming up. The bus or whatever stops just the other side, and now you're stuck in it. Yeah. You know, so and another there. one is keep yeah. clear, but I believe that doesn't get marked down because it's not a legal requirement to keep clear isn't a legal thing as far well, as I'm aware, until someone you will have, tell me different. Until you've, you've well, caused yes. traffic exactly. it's one, on Yeah, it. exactly. Yeah. So the outcome would be the issue there rather than the... Whereas where it's a law thing, the outcome is irrelevant. If you don't stop at a stop, I know it doesn't go in this box. But And that's worth saying a stop sign doesn't go in... Yeah, it stop goes sign in sign. Is not, it goes not, under a response to signs, uh, not road markings because yeah. of that priority we were talking yeah. about earlier. But so if you don't stop there, you've had it. If you don't stop in a box function, you've had it. There's no ifs, buts or maybes. There's mm -hmm. never a minor on that or a driving fault. Mm -hmm. It's always a serious. Whereas a keep clear could be either either or nothing, depending on what's going on around you, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So that's dependent on the situation rather than you've done it wrong or you've done it right. Mm -hmm. So legal things, wrong, end of. Other things, not speeding, doesn't necessarily come into that. But um, So your yellow box junctions, I think that we can probably say it's either an issue that maybe has come from following distances being mm -hmm. a little bit too close and so that little bit of a sheep mentality, you just yeah. keep going, not necessarily predicting what the person in front of you is going to do, so not allowing yourself a space big enough in front of the yellow box before you start proceeding into it. Mm, that's all really good um, one never do. Same yeah. sort of thing, where we are the railway at Brockenhurst. Car four cars in front decided to stop on the crossing and flash everyone out and of course now we've got loads of cars stuck on the railway, which is quite interesting. I didn't because I always anticipate that. So there and places like that I will always make sure there's actually the space the other side. Absolutely. Rather than hoping the space will be there. Yeah. And that's again something to teach the the um, pupils about box junctions, make sure there is a space, not there might be a space. Mm. Because the car in front stops to flash the car out of the junction that's ahead and mm. you're now on the blooming box junction. Mm. I'd like to look at the laws on box junctions because I think it's stopping on a box junction, isn't it? Or waiting at a box junction. Look at the wording because if you just creep really, 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 really slowly, would you get away with it? <laughs> Maybe you'll ask on little examiners what they think about <laughs> yeah. that. I'll look at legislation later. <laughs> see what <laughs> Um, just go backwards and forwards, just if you want to keep moving. Just don't stop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so that's number nine. Is that alright? Yes. Have we done number nine? We have, I think so. Yeah, it's quite a straightforward one. Yeah. Because well, I said before that the further down the list you get, obviously, the less they happen. Yeah. So it's nine and ten, even from seven onwards, I think, aren't happening a great deal, but just worth being aware yeah. of, really. Yeah. Yeah. Done. Good, okay. Thank you. Bye.